Hi folks, today I wanted to share a weekend getaway that Lisa and I took to a cool little town in Tennessee called Oneida to visit the Big South Fork Air Park, which you can actually see right there. The trip down was rather interesting because we had to dodge thunderstorms the whole way, but the weekend itself was wonderful. Come see for yourself. Today we are going to Tennessee. We're going away for the weekend. And the weather is perfect, clear blue sky at our destination. Here we got some clouds that we're going to have to do dodge around. Dutchess Tower, 547 Tango Juliet, ready for departure runway 24 VFR Southwest. There's 547 Tango Juliet, Dutchess Tower, use caution, men and equipment, left side departure in, runway 24, clear for takeoff, 12305. Clear for takeoff 24 and copy the equipment, 7 Tango Juliet. Here we go. Time to go. Airspeed's coming alive, right rudder right in, 60, 65, 70, 77, rotate, there we go, 90 knots, positive rate of climb, end of the runway, Go down the river and around Stewart this way. I think we'll have better luck climbing over the clouds over there. New York Center, Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet. Number 547 Tango Juliet, that was? Yes, we are three miles north of Blairstown, 1 November 7 at 10,500. Request flight following to Sierra Charlie X ray. 7 Tango Juliet, Squawk 1717 Ident. 1717 Ident. 7 Tango Juliet, your radar contact 7 miles west of the Stillwater VOR 10500. Sierra Sirius going to, uh, Sirius going to where? Sierra Charlie X-Ray. We have a whole bunch of clouds in front of us. I was hoping we could dodge the clouds and stay VFR the whole way, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to ask him for a pop-up IFR clearance. Let's see if he cooperates. New York Center, 547 Tango Juliet, request. New York Center, 547 Tango Juliet, request. New York Center, 547 Tango Juliet. He's not listening. You're calling that second. Cirrus, 547 Tango Juliet. Request. 7 Tango Juliet, go ahead. Yes, sir. I think I'm going to need a pop up IFR clearance. I'm uh, not going to be able to maintain VFR uh, much longer. Stand by for that. Finally. Maybe you should go right. Or left. Because you're going to go right in this. Number 7 Tango Juliet, you clear to Sierra Charlie X ray via direct. Climb maintain 1 1000. Climbing to 1 1000, clear direct, Sierra Charlie X ray. 7 Tango Juliet. Alright, now we're IFR. So we can go into the clouds without problem. Yep, we shouldn't. This does not look good. This is all fluffy. This is not a big deal. It's black. But it's fluffy black. Best laid plans of trying to stay VFR. It almost worked. This is a big fat cloud right there. This is just light green. It might not be. This is good. Now we're in the red. We're not in the red. We're in the light green. We'll be out of it soon. Come on, you've been in clouds before. You know this is no big deal. Hey, look, we're almost out. One last little stretch. Okay. See, look at this. Look at the blue sky in front of us. Look at the beautiful blue sky. It's okay, it's over. Take a deep breath. That's the last of the clouds right here. This bit right here is it. And we're done. 
But this time I mean it. After that cloud, then we're done. But look, all the weather is behind us. It's not, because <laughs> I can see I have eyes. No, look. It's all behind us. Did I text Scott and tell him that you need a drink waiting for you when we get there? <laughs> These are the light, fluffy, friendly clouds. No, they're not. These are the clouds that throw you on the ground. No, these are the light fluffy clouds. No, it's black in here, and these are the ones that have light the best. fluffy. No. There was no vertical buildup. Want to do your pulse oximeter? Let's get that finger ready. What's the verdict? Think she's going to be okay? 96. Way to go. Oh, it's bad. Not oh. 95. Ah, that's fine. Anything over 90 is good. In the 80s is bad. Yeah, but it was 99 the other day. Well, it would be 99 on the ground. I'm 97. We're getting close. we got 20 minutes to go. 13 minutes till we begin our descent. And when we're 10 minutes from the beginning of descent, I'll cancel IFR and do the rest ourselves. I think 500 feet down, we'll be out of the clouds. And Indy Center, 547 Tango Juliet, we're ready to cancel IFR. Oh, 547 Tango Juliet, so Roger, cancellation received. Uh, did you want to follow them the rest of the way in, or are you just coming into one? Negative, we'll do it on our own. Um, 7 Tango Juliet, Roger, cancellation received. Welcome to maintain VFR. Have a good day. Switch in 1200, 7 Tango Juliet, thanks. Done. Boom. Why didn't you want fly following? Because we're almost there, there's no reason. Otherwise, I have to tell him every step I do. I don't want to tell him every step I do. The winds seem to have gone calm again. So we're going to do runway 23 because it's straight in, it's right on our way. And it'll save us some time. All right, so we got the procedure loaded up. I've got the plate on my lap. Oneida Scott traffic, Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet is 10 to the northeast, inbound straight in, GPS 23. I think we're going to do the rest by hand. Flaps. Landing is assured. TJ, are you up on 22.8? Yes, sir. Yeah, winds are variable down here. You can land either way. I'm coming in on 2-3. Five hundred. Five hundred feet. This is calm enough to knit. They call as well. From the runway, we ended up taxiing directly to the private hangars and then made our way to the Welcome Center. For the rest of the weekend, we explored the air park and the surrounding area, mostly in this buggy, which, as you'll see, was a lot of fun. All right. I'm taking my life in my hands. Lisa is taking a crack at the wheel here. And Bill is got his fingers crossed or he's praying back there. I don't know, one or the other. Help me! <laughs> Shitty slickers. <laughs> All right, Lisa. What's, your, what's the country girl say? <laughs> of course, no trip to Oneida is complete without a visit to Moose's Sports Bar and Grill. And we even got to meet Moose himself. After a wonderful weekend at the Big South Fork Air Park, it is time to go home. And as we head home, we go straight from the hangars in the air park right onto the taxiway. But I think that's really, really cool. And there's our host, BA, who really uh, went out of his way to make us feel comfortable here. And this is a really, really nice air park. If you
you want to learn more about this place, check out the link in the description below. And thanks to Russ, Hondo, and especially BA for the incredible hospitality. Lisa and I will certainly be back again soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see what the YouTube algorithm thinks you will enjoy next, click the video up there. If you want to watch my latest video, click down there. Oh, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel.